that catch you with God? Yeah, I did. Is your heart racing right now? A little bit. Same here. It happens to me all the time. This episode of Chairs and Dasters is brought to you by Black Owl Urban Coffee. With an array of coffee beans found across the globe, from Guatemala to Uganda, Black Owl's coffee is meticulously designed with your taste buds in mind. Visit their website for more information. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Chairs and Dasters with me, Byron Darvel. As always, we've got a wonderful guest to present to you, hailing all the way from from Leidenburg, making up a portion of rough magic, rock and roll, musical, gifted, death metal, metal, alternative rock band. I'll be correct on that later. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Johnny Holiday. What's up, Johnny? How's it going? Uh, well, pretty well. How many of the genres did I get right in the rough magic intro? I think maybe, like, death metal is not entirely right. Okay, more like metal. Yeah, metal. I metal. Guess. So I wanted to say rock, and I actually wanted to say psychedelic rock, but that's not consistent through all the albums, or, yeah. or it's not pr prominent. But I know it was, I suppose, in your latter album, some of the songs. I get. Yeah, I mean, it's. I don't know, man. It's we're not very consistent in any sense. We we just play whatever we want to play. That's interesting. Because I was going to ask you. You guys have released what three albums now? Yeah. Well, I mean, three albums and then um, uh, three EPs as well. Okay. So when you started the journey, did you say? We want to hit these genres and play that music. And then now, looking back at it five, six years later, how you've obviously ventured off that quite a bit and just went with the flow. So what genre did you start off with? And what genre are you finding yourselves in now? I mean, I guess when we started, we just sounded like a bad knockoff of Nirvana. You know, like I guess most bands start, it sound yeah. when they start. Well, it's super inspirational to draw yeah. from. So it's hard to not be. It's like the first band you want to yeah, be like when you, thing, yeah. when you start off. But then, yeah, over time, it just kind of progressed and got weird so i don't know we weren't really keeping tabs on it we were just like yeah cool we're playing this now you know we're playing this now do you like it yeah no? fuck you <laughs> and carry on a lot okay. of our guests think that i just hold this so we get uh, product placement which we do which is awesome by the way but it's cute got lead pills and thrills um I was weirdly invited to actually be an extra on your last music video through a mutual friend of ours, Finn McKinnon. Oh, no way. Yeah, I couldn't make it. My one good friend, Terence Koch, I don't know if you know him. We're yes. there. You do know him. Shout out to Terry and Laurie Koch, the Koch brothers. Uh, they were there, um, so I missed out on, on an awesome opportunity. I wanted to ask you, the, the music video is super cool. Uh, it's a long storyline before the song starts around zombies and drinking holy water. Uh, it had that desperado kind of old school feel. First and foremost, what is your view on zombies? And are you a person who believes zombies could be a thing one day? Let's just get that out the way, so I know what I'm dealing with here. Okay, so... Yes for the second question. And then for the first question, I don't know what my view on zombies are. I guess they deserve equal rights. Okay, so when yeah. they do come, they will have equal rights. Zombies should, can vote. at least, yeah. If you don't have a cognizant brain, and you don't have a, an, a, an idea of consci consciousness, sorry, can you vote as a zombie? Do you get to vote? Yeah, sure. I mean, people who... <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot of people who vote that aren't yeah. necessarily thinking. That's so interesting. That's we, yeah, I was always thinking about that when zombies do come, do, do we have to be politically correct towards zombies as well? Or do we treat them like shit? No. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. I, I'd say let's go with politically correct. I okay. got you. On a music video like that, I'm curious to know, it's quite a long music video, but a good half of that is a storyline and then the song starts. When you guys release a song like that and you put a lot of effort into a music video that's very visually creative and tells a story, do you want the audience to remember the video more than the song, or the song more than the video? Hmm. I don't really care. I mean, it's cool if they get into the video because we're always, like, layering all sorts of storylines together. Yeah. Uh, so it's cool if people get into it and actually follow the lore and figure out what's happening. But if they don't, whatever. Yeah, well, you're there, you put the effort in and it looks amazing. What came first? Singing or guitaring? For me, Sorry, was... playing guitar. I don't think guitaring is a word. No one guitar says, I'm a guitar. -er. No, no, no. no. What, what came first in your album? Because I know you're quite proficient in both. So I'm curious to know what... what... Uh, no, it was definitely playing guitar at first. I never wanted to sing because I don't really like my voice. And then um, just nobody wanted to sing in the band. So I had to. And then over time we got extra singers 
you know? yeah. and now it's all working but now I kind of like singing but yeah so you kind of didn't want to do it you end up having to do it and you're like okay I'm actually not that shit at singing yeah. no I still don't like my voice but I do enjoy it <laughs> but apparently the masses do I mean if you guys are, are, are touring Europe and you're putting albums together and people are wanting it so they must like it more than you well yeah I guess I don't understand but you know. do you have that thing that you don't like the way you sound for example when you send a voice note to someone and you hear it back you're like what the fuck? Why do I sound yeah, like that? No, and I don't like weird. that about myself, but that's like a shitty cell phone mark. I don't know, when you hear yourself, even if it's just talking, you're like, ugh. Is, is I don't like when I talk, I guess, but it's really weird when we're like mixing an album and, you know, we have to isolate the vocals to make sure the levels are right. Yeah. Fucking hate it. Do you feel like everyone in the room is like busy looking at you like? Yeah. No, I usually leave. Like, I sit there for a few seconds and then I'm like, oh, okay, that's enough. Let's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You fix this. I'll go away. So, the singing came first. And then how, how no long after the, 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 the... Yeah, we forgot about the guitar question. <laughs> that was a two-part question. Excuse me. And then the guitar came. And then no, how, no, the guitar was first. The guitar was first. Yeah. And then the singing. Yes, that's Fucking right. hell. The people back home must be thinking, Byron, what are you doing? I don't know. I took a yelp before I came in. So I don't even know where <laughs> I am right now. And then how long have you been jamming guitar for? Um... Uh, I don't know, like 15 years, maybe? 15 years? Yeah. Yeah, no, okay, let's say maybe 13 years. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, like. Yeah, it's, long. it's been a while. Yeah. You must be up there, at least the top 10 guitarists in the universe by now. <laughs> yeah. In the Southern Hemisphere, let's be honest, in the Southern Hemisphere. No, also not. There's a lot of amazing guitarists in SA. Okay. Like people are I don't know if you've ever heard of the band Bulbadinia or seen Chris Anopoulos play. Okay. Yes, I've seen Chris Anopoulos play. It's mind blowing. Okay. You can sit and watch that for like just drool at the mouth and all of that. Right? Basically, yeah, no, it's, I know I just can't even comprehend. When he starts doing the Woodley Woos, I'm just like, okay. Then. So what will it take you to get to that? Well, okay. I was going to ask you what will it take you to get to that level, but um, Johnny, I guess, fuck that question and that answer. We now have to move on to the next part of our show. Um, time for the quick draw round. Johnny, you ready? No. Good. Uh, do you prefer mohawk or being fully bald? On your pubes? Mohawk. Mohawk. If you could see one band at Glastonbury, which band would it be? It would have been Prodigy when they were still going back in the day. Fantastic. If you could see one band at Orpi Corpi, which is more realistic, which band would it be? Uh, I would have said Wolf Mother, but I already saw them, so let's go with Eagles of Death Metal because I missed them. Ouch, I was at the same Whoopi Corpy. We saw Wolf Mother together. Well, I didn't know you then. Pills or powder? For medicinal purposes. Grandpa Panado, basically. Oh, shit. Pills, in that case. Pills, okay, yeah. Medicinal. What's the highest note that you can hold? Um, like with my voice? Mm. I don't know. Like a high. Uh, you prefer sparkling water or still water? Fucking still water. <laughs> Back to the episode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry you had to witness that. It was um, that was a weird one. That was very bizarre. Um, Johnny, listen, I had a serious question I wanted to kind of get out the way. Now, we've had a couple of musicians on here before in season one and season two. And I've asked a version of this question before. Um, when striving to become successful and be a massive band, and I assume you guys would like to hit an international scale or global audience on a more regular basis, is there an international sound? Is there something that you guys, as a band, are, I guess, aware of when composing, when playing music, that you think this is going to respond to an international audience as opposed to just a South African audience? Yeah, no, I don't think, like, I've never considered it, like, whatsoever. We just, we play what we play, and, or, you know, it's cool that people like it overseas as well, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not purposely trying to write something to... To say like we're writing this that Americans and UK and Australia will be like yeah. we can relate to this that's not a part of your process nope definitely not but then so what you're doing is clearly working because you guys have done the Europe tour you've, you've toured Germany you've toured Poland if I'm not mistaken where else yeah. have you gone um, there, there's a taste for there's a hunger there's an appetite for your music in Europe yeah we've been around I mean we've been to Netherlands we were in Portugal Poland France one time um, in Germany obviously and we were in Austria and like we covered a lot of ground when we were in Europe. Okay. Um, yeah, and people are into it. They keep being into it for some reason. But I will tell you what though, um, there is a bit of an angle around being South African that we're not really pushing, but people are just really interested to see a South African band over there. They're like, what? Why? What, what is the fascination, do you think? I don't know. I think they assume we live in huts 
and you know play on cans or whatever. Uh, now, Johnny, listen, we need to wrap it up. Time flies when you're having fun. I mean, I know this was torture for you, um, and I know you just spilled water all over your pants. By the way, we bought fizzy water on the studio today, so uh, I, yeah, the producer doesn't do it. I did it, and we bought fizzy water, <laughs> and I spilled on my lap, and Johnny spilled on his lap. Like a couple of assholes, but uh, that's the other there. There's a camera there, and there's a nice wide camera in the middle. Let us know, let the audience know what you've got coming up. I mean, we've got Noze- uh, November, we've got November around the corner, November. and December. <laughs> Anything we need to know about, where you're playing, what's the social media for the band, let us know everything. Okay, right. So, you can follow and check out Rock Magic online, which is really easy because it's spelled all wrong, so it's R U F F M A J I K. Um, so no one's competing in that space Not for, at all For your SEO and your AdWords Yeah, we've got a solid 20 pages on Google Just for us, it's crazy <laughs> Anyway, so um, So you can find us All social media It's all the same, Rough Magic That's very easy um, And there's a new album out That you can listen to now um, Called The Devil's Cattle No, we're not Satanists Just just checking that out Yeah, well we had Satanic Dacha And they had to explain their band names You guys are super sad Like it And that's that, guys Thank you very much for watching the show. Please go check out Rough Magic's Everything on Everywhere. Remember, R-U-F-F-M-A-J-R-K. It's actually easier to spell than rough. R-A-U-G-I-H-N-Z. Yeah. I, I can't. Guys, we'll see you next week for another wonderful episode. Please subscribe. Please check us out on social media. And sleep tight. Because tomorrow's Friday and it's a work day for a lot of you. Goodbye. You do that cheesy wave? What's the cheesiest wave you've got? Cheesy. <laughs> hey.